All right, we're going to start this one off with a rant slash vlog before we get to the authentication. All right, first up, my dad was in a, uh, well, I shouldn't say car accident. He was hit by a car because he was on his bike. I knew that was going to happen eventually with the, the way these people fucking drive and how dad doesn't have much uh, situational awareness. Yeah, I wasn't there, but uh, I haven't even seen him since he'd been hit. He was at the hospital. Uh, with the way the gas prices are, he said, uh, don't come up there. I'll get into the economy and other stuff a little bit uh, later on in this vlog. Yep, told you this one was going to be a long one. Got a couple of things to say before we get to the authentication. Well, anyway, it seems he was, uh, he said he was hit at a crosswalk. Now, he says usually he doesn't go across at crosswalks, and neither do I, because they're fucking dangerous. Usually he crosses, uh, Running a long stretch of road in the center where you can see everything. Alright, this is where he said he was. But he's not always good at explaining things. Now he would be coming this way on his bike. So he'd be on this side. Now he says he usually crosses right. Right around here, as you can see. <coughs> you can see a lot of a long ways before a car can come and hit you. <coughs> a long way before a car can hit you. You can see him coming a long ways off. And they say jaywalking is fucking, fucking unsafe. Yeah, I'd definitely fucking cross here. Big fucking road without any turns. Oh, and while, <coughs> while we're at it, here's the uh, two times that I was hit right over here at the stop sign. And they just come around this merging area and boom, boom, that's very dangerous. My mom got hit there. The taxi driver my dad knows. Basically, it seems like they don't want to fucking stop you, uh, even though we can see a fucking stop sign clearly there. They just go boom right around. It's 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 not a merge. It's not even a yield. It's a stop sign. None of them want to stop. And as you can see, uh, it's a uh, fucking main road here, so there's a lot of traffic. So you gotta wait. Now instead of going from uh, here, staying here, I usually go. There's a Take the back way and go this way where nobody knows about or a lot of people don't know about. Safer for that way. Nobody behind you to hit you. All right now, moving on up. Now, if he explained it right, I believe he was hit right here. He said he was uh, going at the fucking crosswalk here. Now he said that they were turning into this town, so I, I'm going to assume he was over here when he got a hit. Yep, he shouldn't have listened to the cop or fucking society. He should trust what he thought was right. That's what I do now. Fuck everybody else. It pays to be paranoid. Uh, da, 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 so he's probably hit here. I haven't even seen him since he, since he got hit. And since we're on the subject of cars, I was in the fucking conversation with somebody in the comments about the how the how they say uh fucking driving isn't a fucking right that that's all bullshit uh read the i'll post it right here you can read what i said but basically uh fucking they say driving isn't a a right but i say the opposite because of the ninth amendment and uh the, how cucked they are they say oh the ninth amendment doesn't mean everything but yes it does take away the fucking fucking bill of rights say it's just the constitution not the uh, amendments in the bill of rights if you read it read the federalist federalist papers uh the the federalist uh warned against that uh, saying oh don't fucking enumerate your rights because <laughs> then they'll they'll say that uh, that's all you have which is why why the uh they put in the ninth amendment there it's not to be construed that uh all you have is what's what says there you have more than that and i i I say driving is one of them. There shouldn't even be licenses. Need a license to drive, just do it. But uh, people are so scared of fucking freedom. And they're stupid to believe that fucking safety is through government. Pro the problem is people get fucking complacent. Thinking that government was going to take care of them. And uh, make sure you're, you're safe. But that's n not the case. Being safe starts with you. As you can see, I've never been in a badly hurt in a car accident. Or maybe I should say I never hit anybody. But they sure as fuck hit me. Sum it up. Fucking safety is in your own hands, not in anybody else's. Especially not the fucking government's. And you're a retard if you think otherwise. Now going into the, uh, 
as you can see I got the uh, toy cars in the street out here all right Sonic the Hedgehog is a person I'll get into why a fucking uh, crosswalks are fucking dangerous okay let's see Okay. Okay, say that the light is green for this way. Okay. It says don't walk. Cars are coming. Okay, now it's uh, fucking red. That's usually when, when this is red, that's usually when it says to cross. But you see, the problem is with the at crosswalks, is there's always cars coming from the, uh, every, to every second. Alright, say so you're walking. You got the, this car, can go this way, still fucking hit you, if you're crossing. This one can, uh, if there's a turn on red, it can hit you this way. And also if uh, it's that red, this cocksucker can still hit you, take their fucking foot off the fucking gas and hit you. So, it, it, that, that fucking crosswalk shit uh, doesn't make any sense to me, that's fucking dangerous. You got every single second of the time you can be hit by somebody. Now. If a jaywalk, which they say is uh, fucking against the fucking law, that's fucking retarded. They even arrest somebody because those dickhead cops. But none of this has to do with safety. It's all about stealing your money. That's all All that's about. But uh... Video of an arrest near the UT campus has people across the country crying foul. While screaming and crying, Austin police handcuff a jogger and put her in a police car. It happened near 24th in San Antonio. <laughs> End of the video. Chris Quintero, a blogger, recorded the entire episode. Police say Amanda Jo Steven was jogging when she failed to stop for a traffic light. And when officers tried to stop her, she kept running. In the video, you see the young woman in handcuffs sitting on the ground, at times talking directly to the video camera. She keeps saying she did nothing wrong. In the blog, Quintero claims Stevens, who wore earbuds, couldn't hear the officers when they tried to stop her. But police chief Art Acevedo isn't buying that story. He says even once she stopped, she started cussing out the officers. Stevens is charged with failure to obey a pedestrian crossing. What are you in for? Jaywalking. Also failing to identify herself to officers. In other cities, cops are actually committing sexual assaults on duty. So I thank God that this is what passes for a controversy in Austin, Texas. Now let's see. Well, back if you cross somewhere at a long path, now you can see left to right all the way down it's gonna be a long way before they can uh, come get you and by, by that time you can run if you need to so it's a lot safer to cross here than fucking here where they're like I said they can be right up on top of you fucking go fucking release the gas you, your, your fucking life is uh, dependent on that they don't fucking have a heart attack fucking on their cell phone or just uh, intentionally want to fucking hit you come to the other side Around the front. Now they say it's this. This is fucking dangerous bullshit. You can see on a long stretch of land, and if, if you're stupid enough to fucking get hit here, you deserve to be fucking killed at that point. But like I said, it, logic needs not apply. It's all about that fucking money. And you shouldn't be walking, like, like if there's parked cars on the fucking side of the road, you shouldn't be uh, fucking just going right out. I do see cocksucking stupid people just walking right out without looking. But uh, you should stick your head out a little bit and see. Or cross when there's no fucking cars so you can see all the way down so there's no cars parked on the side. So you can see what's coming. Yeah, fucking bullshit. Yeah, I've written down uh, all the times uh, I've been hit while on the car or lost brakes and whatnot. I'll go through the list. Uh, first time I got hit was uh, waiting in line at Wendy's. There was an old lady behind me. Yeah, she, I was, and that's the thing. I was uh, stopped in all of these cases. Not going. You think? You think if I'm if you're gonna get hit, it's uh, out of nowhere. Somebody runs a red light and hits you or something like that. Maybe 
it up too close. No, 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 no. It's always stopped and they fucking get you in the fucking ass. I mean, they can't fucking miss you. Right in front of your fucking face. What the fuck are you doing? But then again, these people are fucking retarded. Yeah, like I said, I knew my dad was going to get hit eventually. These people are fucking retarded and he has no situational awareness. And he said usually he does he doesn't cross at the crosswalks. He usually does what I do. But uh, he said, uh, uh, you know how the cops are. Uh, uh, you gotta go to the the fuck crosswalk, or, or we'll give you a ticket. Don't listen to fucking cops. They're assholes. They're only there to steal your money and fucking push you around. That's it. They're not here for safety. Anybody who says fucking safety is fucking lying to you. Especially if they're wearing a fucking badge or says they're a fucking authority. What they are is a fucking psychopath. Yeah, if you got to have power over people, the first uh, sign of psych psychosis is the God complex. Remember that, kids. So always be wary of anybody who says they're an authority. Alright, so stopped uh, in line at Wendy's, no damage, but still. And then the old lady's like, ugh, with her hands up, like, what'd you do? Like, uh, what am I doing? I'm stopped. Idiot, you gotta wait until the car goes, asshole. Alright, let's see, second time. Guy exiting Wendy's, uh, also same Wendy's, but uh, that that wasn't online. Going to get something to eat, I was leaving. Now he says he thought I was going. No, I wasn't going. You get, you, that they don't follow anybody out. Go exiting anywhere. You always gotta keep a fucking distance. Yeah, that's why I keep a distance. I see everybody up, everybody's fucking ass. I see them fucking speeding. Always keep uh, at least one car length away. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, I put this one on zero because I forgot about this one. Uh, 7-Eleven. I, I, I was wary about this because the parking lot's so small. I was thinking I, I, it's so small, so easy to get hit, so I should probably just park somewhere else, not even in the parking lot, so across the street or in the other area. But uh, this is the only time where I was hit somewhere other than the back. It was uh, sideways. It's basically, uh, basically here's here, here's the fucking 7-Eleven and the, the, the parking spots are... Fucking, fucking straight onto it. That ain't a road right up there. Basically, I was here all the way on the end, and basically I was uh, backing out, and uh, she it was an SUV. Now my car is very small. She has a tall, tall SUV. Didn't see me and hit me right here. Uh, I was honking the horn for her to stop. Yeah, no damage. Yeah, most of the times there's no damage, but uh, still got hit. Uh, let's see. Asian lady stopped at a light near the movie theater. Yeah, I just stopped in the line. It wasn't even the the light wasn't even red. She fucking hit me from behind. Ah, uh, perpetual weight in the stereotype. No damage. Uh, let's see. Fourth. No, all right, not in my car. This is my dad's truck. Oh wait, no, no, that ain't my dad's truck. That's uh, an, a different truck. Uh. Here's what the next two is where at the same fucking spot up. Uh, in truck at stop sign at merge. Yeah. Uh, first time, she, again, second time she said, I thought you were going. No, I wasn't fucking going. That's why I gotta keep a fucking distance. And, uh, like Din said, did, did, did it have a uh, Trump sticker on it? And yes, it did. <laughs> well, I ran me because it voted for Trump twice. Well, anyway. And then, uh, same spot, but in my car this time, that time there was damage. Well, the truck also had a little damage, too. Uh, Again, this time I stayed stopped. I thought, uh, doing something different, I won't get hit, but no. Usually, I, it, the, the fucking assholes, when I'm stopped, they're, uh, I always go cautiously. I make sure it's clear to go, then I pull out. But these assholes, when I fucking go, so I just uh, creep a little bit, you know, and so the people behind me know, no, I'm not asleep. I know what's going on. So that was the first time. So she said, oh, I thought you were going. Now this time I stay fucking still. This, this stay directly still. Fuck him. And I yelled at the cocksucker this time when I got it, when he hit me. Uh, so now I just don't go by that merge. I go somewhere else where there's no cars. Gotta stay away from fucking people. Alright, let's see. I, uh, here's uh, when I wasn't driving. I was airborne in the 240SX, my friend was uh, driving. We were going downhill and it was wet out and I said, uh, we're, we're going to get in an accident this way and I'm going to laugh in your face when we do, which I did. Went airborne, we were going downhill and there was a big dirt pile, we went up it and went airborne. I didn't see the insane stunt bonus uh, appear in the sky. 
car was uh, fucked up. We drove it away, but uh, leaking fluids needed to get that fixed. Uh, so car damage, we weren't. Well, actually, I've never been hurt in any of these uh, in these accidents. But the cars, on the other hand, uh, another accident uh, where I wasn't driving uh, on the rain on the way to the shooting range. And remember, kids, you're more lo likely to be killed in the uh, fucking car accident than in a shooting uh, getting getting shot in America. I know people are fucked up. And, uh, oh, you're going to get killed. Uh, the scary in America. No, you're more likely to be killed in a fucking car. If if you go in, if you drive in a car, you should have no reason to own in a gun because you're more likely to be killed by that than by a gun. And uh, imagine that uh, me and my brother killed on on the way there, and she'd be like, "Were they shot? No, killed in a car accident." So yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, here's when I was out of the car, uh, fucking almost hit when I was out of the car, legs almost crushed. Uh, uh, fixing a lady, old lady's uh, fucking fucking roof. Basically, here's what's happened. Uh, she was in this car. My dad was driving, so I was going, I was going on the passenger side. And uh, instead of uh, going the long way, I want to go uh, straight through here to get to the passenger side. And I was thinking, uh, the, the small gap. Uh, hopefully, she won't uh, back into us. Uh, no, I was thinking, no way. She, uh, he, he's right there. She can see his fucking car. So I'm about going through, and about like I don't know, a quarter of the way, it starts going back, and I jump out, and she hits right there. So, narrowly you get, got my legs crushed. And then I, I guess uh, she said, Oh, I didn't see you there. You didn't fucking see us there. Jesus Christ. No, none of these people are fucking awake or paying attention. Jesus fucking Christ. But uh, it pays to be paranoid, kids. Yeah. Always assume everybody's a fucking retard and then you won't get hurt. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, no. Jump out of the way of a car, yes. Uh... Again, at a, at a crosswalk, uh, at night time, crossing here, uh, good thing I always look, this guy came in fast, about right here, then I ran, I didn't have to jump, I ran, he's like, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, that's what, like I said, jaywalk, it's safer, fuck the, fuck the police. Uh, you turn at junction, oh yeah, again, thinking. Uh, I'm on the sidewalk and then uh, I step out into the uh, street. Just step out, but not fully walking because, uh, again, paranoid. Uh, or as they say, paranoid. Uh, th uh, I see the car coming. And what he does, he, he goes like this not jump back. He does a fucking, one of these fucking I don't know why the, the, the pe people are too fucking lazy instead of just driving around the block. So it looked like it was coming at me. I jumped back. And also somebody I knew uh, uh, did that same fucking thing, except uh, he got hit going like this. He's, and the guy said, what the fuck are you doing uh, making a U-turn out in a junction like that? Well, he didn't say junction, whatever the fuck he called it. But anyway, anyway, go around the block, it's a lot safer. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, let's see. Here's the times I lost the brakes and No accidents, kids. No accidents. But these fucking people... Don't know how, what the fuck to do. First time lost on the way home at night. Luckily there's no car, so I made it home. Uh, I told you this one before in the truck. Oh, always uh, slow down ahead of time. Yeah, I'll show you. Most people do this. They like to come in real fucking fast and then hit the brakes. But if you find out at this point that you, you lost the brakes or they're... Uh, you're gonna run into them and they'll be like, oh, I lost my brakes. Now what you should be doing is slowing down way back, gradually coming in. It's red, so where the fuck you going? So why are you going that fast? And you can find out, like what I did, you can find out if you lost the brakes. I was in the truck at the time. Found out I lost brakes and then I turned into the gas station. Anybody else who had just ran into them. Save it that way. Uh, let's see what else. On the way back from a tree job, yeah, again, saved again by uh, press uh, slow, gradually slowing down way ahead of time instead of uh, waiting for the last st second. People like tailgate. Uh, girl, oh, oh yeah, that's why I don't uh, walk out in front of the fucking street. Yeah, that's when I lost the brakes. Could have almost hit her. Uh, she, she comes right out. I hit the brakes. I lose it. Luckily, she went back. Missed her. 
So don't get fucking arrogant. Oh, oh, they'll see me. They'll stop. Well, that ain't always the case. Sometimes we lose the fucking brakes. Or sometimes people have a heart attack. And then who are you going to fucking sue when they're dead? All right, so that's uh, my list of car accidents and other car-related bullshit. This has been a public service announcement. Don't be an asshole on the fucking uh, driving your car. All right, now we'll move on to the economy here. I got one of these uh, silver certificates. Now this is uh, 1957. I think they stopped making these types in uh, 1964 when it seems like that was the year all silver, all dollars were, and the uh, coins had no silver backing in it. One dollar in silver payable to the bearer on demand. You could go to the bank and get, get your silver Coin. Although it, uh, not an American Eagle from what I research, it's a, a Morgan or a, a Peace coin. Uh, I'll, I'll put a picture of uh, those coins up, uh, what you could exchange this for. Of course, people don't want to carry around heavy coins. That's why they have uh, this lighter paper. And notice how it doesn't say a Federal Reserve note there. Now here's a more recent one. Uh, 2013 Federal Reserve note as opposed to the treasury that hands it out. Of course, uh, the Federal Reserve isn't going to hand out real money. They want the paper shit. Its intrinsic value is zero. It's only backed by the government violence, that's it. Whereas this, you can uh, melt it down and have many other uses for it. Most reflective and uh, uh, electric conductivity substance there is, among other things. You can look up uh, that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, anything else different than that? I'm not sure. Uh, here's what I got from the the guy. Uh, I got that uh, silver <coughs> silver <coughs> Jesus silver certificate from. Thank you. I, I'm not sure. How, I think he's uh, fucking Spanish because uh, I'm not sure what he says. Somebody tell me what, what the fuck this is. The AU. I think uh, that was. Uh, I think it would be one of the serial num or serial letters. That's what he's referring to because this isn't the one pictured, but uh, that doesn't matter to me. Uh, the AU was uh, no longer avail. Oh, no longer available. Oh, ah. That looked like a C. The AU. I thought I thought that was a Spanish word right there. Okay, the AU not was no longer available. So I sent you the only BU. Not. I, not, not I had, yeah, uh, so t yeah, it, tell me what do you think he said, yeah, not only silver is valuable, it seems like even then the, uh, every other coin, well, Nickel particularly has uh, gone up. It seems they shut down the nickel market because it was uh, the melt value is uh, worth more than the uh, fucking fucking face value of uh, five cents. I think it went up past seven cents, so almost uh, worth more than what it says on it. Now they say you shouldn't. Uh, it's illegal to melt it down, but you can bet your ass since it's worth more. It's uh, people are melting it down and uh, scrapping it. Yeah, looking at the. Uh, the other coins, they all seem to have copper. This one has the most nickel out of it. Uh, this is from the uh, fucking, what the hell is it? Uh, Federal Reserve fucking website, or Treasury web website. Oh, you'll see. Well, anyway, so I'd start hanging on to uh, the coins because they're going to be worth a hell of a lot more. I know I'm not uh, cashing these ones in. Yeah, they call it uh, Grissom's Law. Bad money uh, pushes out good money. So that's why we got a coin shortage because people are... Actually using it for uh, the material inside for things. I know I made a uh, fucking 70 bucks off copper recently, so yeah. Yeah, most of these coins have copper in them, so I'll start saving them up. Alright, and finally... My AR-15 is almost complete. I got the 24-inch uh, barrel to get those high velocities to punch right through... Uh, armor got the uh, sight here 
that long barrel in here, but uh, there we go. Also got green. No, this not, isn't uh, an authentic uh, EO site, EO tech site, even though it says it right there. But uh, of course not, because that's like five hundred dollars. Whatever the fuck it's going for. Whereas this one's uh, forty dollars. Got a uh, Armalite, the original designers of this gun. Yep. It's almost complete here. <coughs> uh, I don't have the delta ring on it. The barrel's on too tight. I didn't even put it on tight, so I need the armor's tool to get that off and put the delta ring on. But uh, the, o uh, the only pieces I need left are the uh, bolt carrier group and the uh, charging handle, and then I can fire this. And gas tube's on its way. Yep, since I got this recently, uh, I passed the background check, so you know I'm not a criminal. And you equate criminals with gun culture, that somehow gun culture is a subset of criminal activity. It's not. We are the best Canadians, hands down. When's the last time you had a background check? When was your last one? How do I trust you? We're not the criminals. You could be. As far as I know, I have no uh, criminal record. All you'll find is some parking tickets, which uh, all of them I disagree with. I can get into that some other time. But uh, anyway. And of course, the background check is uh, bullshit. Got to pay for it. Well, I think it was like 16, 15, 16 dollars. And that background check does jack shit. As you can see, uh, the uh, government uh, hands these out to the fucking Taliban. Riding atop U.S. built military vehicles, Taliban fighters showcased the spoils of war during a January parade through the Afghan city of Khost. Armored personnel carriers and Humvees were just part of the arsenal that the Taliban seized from U.S.-backed Afghan government forces amid the militant's takeover of Afghanistan in August. Now, the newly equipped Taliban wants to turn its insurgent forces into a modern standing army. And it makes a big difference to tell the American people the truth about what our options are in ending this war. If tomorrow the order goes out from the pre I'm president of the United States, I issue an order, end the war today, begin to withdraw all American troops. It will take a year to get the American troops out. Do you hear me now? That's the truth. It will take a year to get them physically out. Now, if you leave all the equipment behind, you might be able to do it in seven months. And you leave those billions of dollars of weapons behind, I promise they're going to be used against your grandchild and mine someday. But uh, me, on the other hand, or any uh, other Americans, they don't hand it out to. They try and take it away. If that doesn't tell you this government's evil, I don't know what will. And before the Taliban, they also handed these out to the uh, Mexican drug cartels back in, uh, what was it, uh, 2010 with Operation Fast and Furious. Look that up. And that's uh, what a sham the background checks are. I know everybody's saying, oh, the background checks are good, universal background checks. The flaw to that fucking ideology is that the, you're assuming that the government is good and whoever's doing the checking is good. But uh, that's a uh, flaw from the ground up because, as you can see, these are evil fucks who give them out to uh, terrorists and uh, dangerous uh, drug cartels and hold up uh, good people like me and many others. What a pain in the ass. That's why I don't uh, believe in, well, actually, I not just only believe in it. Constitutionally, there shouldn't be any background checks because it's all bullshit. Because all you're doing is uh, gatekeeping and uh, with the uh, fucking evil fucks. Now, now, good thing, I was wondering if I was going to pass because of uh, my uh, fucking cop hating. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they looked at my videos and say, oh, you don't like cops? Uh, no gun for you. See, that's what happens when you gatekeep thinking it's fucking good. No. They can uh, stop you from having this for any reason, like back in the 60s, uh, they didn't want to give it to the blacks, just because they're black, even though they had no criminal re record. Uh, we just don't simply like something about you, so we won't give it to you. That's the dangers of fucking background checks and gatekeeping and all that bullshit. That's why uh, the Second Amendment says, shall not be infringed. And if you're so scared that somebody's going to shoot up the place, get your own and shoot them. That's, that's how you fucking protect yourselves, you fucking retards. 
Jesus fucking Christ. I live in the fantasy world. Uh, if we just didn't have guns, we'd have no violence. <laughs> retards oh god damn gotta deal with the retards on the fucking driving their cars and fucking all over the fucking place but uh anyway well, i'll get that done soon all right now finally on to the authentication here this uh this one's uh long waited i'm getting a lot of uh when i'm gonna fucking a lot of requests of when i'm gonna do this one this is a, a good one Although it's uh, tedious and figure out how to beat this game. It took, my original playthrough took like 25 hours, I believe, to beat it. It's not straightforward on what to do. You gotta find the fucking teddy bears. That That's a fucking pain in the ass. You gotta collect different items and then... It's uh, non-linear, so that uh, really makes it uh, hard. Alright, uh, JF, Jet Force Gemini. Uh, but, 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 where the fuck? Now, I, this I did buy uh, when it came out, so this is definitely real. An authentic one. Hard to see the uh, fucking factory print right there. Ooh, looks like a big one. That's what she said. Hmm. Uh, let's see. JF right there. Splotch blue. All right. If you had Nintendo Power, it'd uh, show you a preview of uh, Jet Force Gemini. Although this, uh, I didn't really, wa I don't really remember it watching this one because uh, it's not as good as the other VHSs, uh, the Star Fox, the N64, Pokemon. Those ones I watched the hell out of, but uh, didn't do a good job on this one. Production anyway. Uh, here's something uh, Dean from uh, Escape the Game in will like. Uh, I know he likes these walkthrough strategy guides. I know he bought uh, a couple of them recently. Uh, I'm not going through every page here. I'm just showing. Definitely want this uh, for this game to find all the fucking teddy bears here. Yeah. Pain in the ass. Even with the strategy guide I had. Pain in the ass to beat it. 25 hours first time through. Oh. Seeing other uh, players, uh, this, they beat it in like seven, eight hours. Probably be more than that when I do it. But uh, my practice run, I only got uh, to the point where I got the jetpacks and shit. Beat uh, Mizar, the the final boss, the first time through. Yes, you got to fight him two times. One halfway through, then we got to find uh, parts for a ship and the teddy bears to get the final piece. That's, like I said, my practice run isn't all the way through, and I don't. Rem I only beaten this once. Don't remember all of it. I'm assuming you get all the teddy bears, then the uh, tribe teddy bear gives you the final part to the ship, and then you can fly to the asteroid and kill the final boss. Everybody got that? Right, neither, neither do I. Alright. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Here's the story. Pay attention. Uh, pay attention to that. There we go. Mizar, the final boss, King Jeff. Not quite a alien name here. Floyd. I don't know if that's a reference to Pink Floyd. Lupus. I'm reminded of fucking Selena Gomez when you, when you say that. Vela, Juno, Alaska. Uh, there's a co-op. One guy uh, fucking plays as Floyd and uses him as a, a gunner while the other guy moves around. I don't think I played that uh, mode that much, if at all. I don't think I ever played the multiplayer. Uh, the controls are much to be desired. Well, they could be better. It's uh, basically the, the, the fucking view uh, is not as good as it can be. It, it doesn't stick right behind you and it does like a, the sway fucking shit. You gotta like turn real hard before it turns. Although you can go into aim mode then it's like that. But uh, I really wish you didn't have to go in aim mode to do that. You'll, you'll see. You'll see when we play.
all the saving that 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 fucking slows things down too it takes like a good couple seconds to come up to the uh, pause screen then you save it with the, the saving actually is pretty fast but going into the pause screen then coming back back out way too fucking slow patience is wearing thin when you do that so that's one negative against this game although this is this is a good game i'd, I'd give it a like a plus but there's uh, some things that could have been fixed There we go, there's the little bastards there. Oh, I, I like, I like I, honestly, it's all cartoony and shit, but it's actually ultra-violence. Uh, you can cake the walls with bugs. Uh, Silverwing says it's better caked with the bugs than cum. Although the uh, character design uh, was more Disney-like or cartoony uh, beforehand, uh, and they just made it a little more serious but uh not quite uh realistic but uh yeah a lot of guns here airborne squadron fuck them There's all the levels. I believe there's 15 of them. Not linear. Oh yeah, and the three characters that makes convoluted. And they have their own di different abilities. He hovers a little bit. She can swim underwater. He can run through lava. Well, that's it. I'll see you on the live stream where we can uh, cake the walls with bugs. Uh, Silverwing says it's better cake with the bugs than cum. What if it was both? Ew, that would be even worse. You don't have all...